Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today we'll be making this butterfly and flower card. I think it turned out really cute. It's made a lot with our um, some of the freebies that came in the celebration catalog with qualifying purchase. We're using the designer paper and the scallop trim punch. So let's get started. Just start out with a standard card base. And the background paper here is cut at five and a quarter by four. And again, this is the designer paper that is found in the Celebration catalog called um, Welcome Neighbor. Another corresponding um, piece of paper from that same designer paper series. And this is cut at five and a quarter by three fourths. And this is about a half inch um, width of Whisper White cardstock. And again, cut at five and a quarter and use the scallop punch with it. Here, I'll just show you what that looks like. And for the branches on the card, for the little flower stems that come up here, I used, you know, it's just one of my favorite punches. It's the two-step large bird punch that's in the current occasions mini catalog. And I punched out the bird in, um, let's see, what is this called? This color is called Always Artichoke. So as you can see here, I punched it out twice. And I'll keep the bird images in the wing and do other things with that at a later project, I'm sure. And taking the scissors, I just trimmed off the top couple of, of little leaves on the branch. And that will become our flower stem. And then taking this little cute flower that's part of the Flight of the Butterfly stamp set. I am like, was like a little kid when this one came in about two weeks ago. I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it. I love, love, love this set. I've been wanting it for a long time. So I'm just like you guys out there. I have my wish list on the Stampin' Up! products too. There's so many of them that you know I have to pace myself just like all of you. Okay, so to make these little flowers on the top here, I you know went ahead and stamped a couple of them on just some scrap whisper white like that and then using the trio punch flower punched it out so I got those so that's gonna go here see how quickly this is coming together a couple of punches a couple of, couple of stamps and you're we're good to go um, also, um, and what I was using is Pink Passion stamp or ink for that one, for the little flowers. I also used it for this, the same ink color for the little butterfly and just trim that out. We're going to use that as a layering upon a layer. Where did my scrap go? Okay, this is just pixie pink. And again, using the solid image from the Flight of the Butterfly stamp set. Make sure I have that inked up really well. And I'm going to take the Butterfly Punch. I'm going to have to do this upside down so I can see it at my angle. There we go. And punch out that piece. You can see I was doing some practicing on the other side. And so, but that's fine because this side's still good and we're going to make the most of our cardstock. So I'm going to layer that little butterfly stamp image on top of um, the larger one that's made to go with the butterfly punch. Um, you know, and as you can see, there's a lot of these larger images of the um, of the butterfly that you can use and trim around and just do all sorts of really cute patterns on your butterfly and then using the butterfly punch you know possibilities are numerous there okay I'll take a dimensional and you know what I may even go ahead and just cut one of these in half because I don't need I just need a little bit of stickiness and I also like one of popping He's not wanting to come off of my fingers. There we go. I'd play around with that just a little more. 
I'll use the leftovers on here. We're really ready to start assembling the card. Okay, we've got all of our pieces. Get some snail adhesive. Look how cute the flip side of that is, too, of that designer paper. The welcome neighbor, those little hearts, they're so sweet. Okay, put that down. Alrighty. And on this piece here, I'm purposely going to put the snail adhesive um, more towards the on the middle here. I'm going to leave a little room because I want to tuck my flowers into it, or the flower stems, as the green, um, the green sections that we punched out. I want to be able to to kind of tuck them in a little bit. And I've played around with a couple of different um, glues, and what I like is just my two-way glue pen works out just about as good as anything on our little leaves. So. Again, I left some room to be able to tuck. Get this one glued down. You know, I said it before, it's like it's just, it's so nice when you have the stamp sets and the punches. They just really can help everything come together really quickly. And you know what, I didn't, there we go. might not have these as centered as what I did on the first one. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure out how to do all of this stuff being opposite. Alrighty. So now I've got my little punched flower edges or punched flower pieces. Put those on there. Again, I'm just putting those down with snail adhesive. We're going to add our butterfly you go putting down a little bit on this one. And voila, we have our card. I went ahead again with the same stamp set and I stamped some images on the inside of it. It's just kind of nice to have that um, carried on throughout. So that's our little butterfly card made with the um, Light of the Butterfly stamp set, punches, the f butterfly punches. Um, I just think you'll have a lot of fun with this card. Oops. You know what? Obviously I missed a step. Look at that. You know what? I'm going to keep this one on on YouTube just because I think it's kind of funny that I missed it. I was wrapping up and I wasn't anywhere near wrapping up just yet. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't know about you guys, but I can be such a goofball at times. Now I think we're finished. Thanks for joining me today. I'll have the dimensions and everything posted on my blog site. See you guys later. Bye-bye.